Hey guys, welcome back to some more Dark Souls. Um, as you can see, I'm already in the painted world. I took the Lord Vessel to Frampton, you know, did what I had to there. So we're going to do this, and today we're doing a little special with this episode because my buddy Fubar Gaming tagged me in a uh, Q&A, about 50 questions long. And since, you know, I can't read and play this game at the same time, I'm going to have my brother read it off. So, without any further ado, this is the TMI 50 Questionnaire Q&A. So, go ahead and start asking questions when you're ready, bro. Alright, Trevor. First question. What are you wearing? Uh, shorts and a t-shirt. Camouflage shorts. Yeah, camouflage shorts and my rancid hyenas t-shirt. And, have you ever been in love? Yes, I have loved and lost many, many a times. Currently in love, so, you know, in a good place. Oh, shit, these guys. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Uh, huh. Um, more than I would like to admit to you. Um, especially because it's like, you know, how is there not any kind of terrible breakup? I mean, how many times do you have some two people mutually going, hey, this isn't working out, let's break up, high five. Right. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's happened. And how tall are you? I am about 5'10". How much do you weigh? 175. That's actually been rather consistent since high school. Do you have any tattoos? I have one currently. I do plan on getting more. I would like to get more. Just don't have the budget for it right now. Do you have any piercings? I have my left ear pierced, and as far as piercings go, I think I'm pretty content with just that. Like, I don't really have... Like, I'm not crazy when it comes to piercings. Like, I understand that there are a lot of people that are, and I don't judge them for it. I mean, some people it's actually kind of sexy on. But I just don't see that being me, you know? Yeah. OTP? Uh, OTP, that's, um... It's basically when you just, like, think of characters either real life or fantasy-wise that would be good together. So, um, I think probably my best, um, my best pair that I think would be good together would be, um, Harley Quinn and Deadpool, honestly. Just, I mean, I love the Joker, and it's not that I don't think he's a good match for Harley, but I just feel like Deadpool and her would be... It would be interesting to see them try something together. <laughs> I just think that they would match up a little bit more. Yeah, both crazy. Uh, Plus, what is they your, have matching colors. What is your favorite show? Um, that's a tie between Archer and Metalocalypse. Okay. What is your favorite bands? Oh, fuck. Um, it's so hard to say. Let me. I have a list of like ten. Let me kill this guy real quick. Because I have them written down uh, when I was watching Fubar's video on this, so I figured I'd get prepared. But here's ten bands that I listen to. Um, Judas Priest, Black Label Society, Social Distortion, Rancid, Iron Maiden, Slayer, Megadeth, Seven Dust, Motley Crue, and uh, Wasp. What is something you miss? Something I miss? Um... You know, a lot of people my age would probably say high school. Um, and honestly, I can kind of see that because it was always like a social gathering for me, you know, to hang out with my friends and stuff. And it's not that we haven't hung out since high school, but I mean, we're all adults now. We all have, you know, our own lives going on. So, you know, and plus I live in a totally different city from them now. So, I mean, trying to find that time with them has just been, you know kind of ridiculous and crazy on its own but I would say that's probably the number one thing that I miss is you know being able to spend more time with my friends and stuff what is your favorite song um fuck I can barely pick a favorite band <laughs> but um I can tell you the song I'm thinking of right now is probably the Sentinel by Judas Priest and how old are you I'm 25 I will be 26 on July 23rd what is your zodiac sign? Um, it's actually borders between Leo and Can- Whoa, what the hell's going on? But, um, Leo and Cancer. What is the quality you look for in a partner? 
Um, I guess it depends on the type of partner. Like, are you talking about just friend or romantic? Although, I, I guess I would kind of have, like, the same standards for either one. Um, I would say being able to be accepting, understanding, you know, non-judgmental, basically. Um, it, it doesn't really matter to me, even if you have a boring personality yourself. But, um... Yeah, I guess, you know, those would just kind of be the top ones. Just not afraid to be yourself, not afraid to accept others for who they are. What is your favorite quote? Um, that actually comes from the Ryan Reynolds movie, Van Wilder. Um, when he says, you shouldn't take life too seriously because you're not going to make it out alive. I thoroughly believe in that. I mean, it's not that, you know, you should be goofing off and, you know, just take nothing seriously. But, you know, just don't let things consume you or affect you too far, you know? Right. And who is your favorite actor? Um, you know, this is kind of a tricky question because it's not that I don't think there's any good actors now, but I see a lot of people struggling with this one because they're like, you know, they look at actors, like, for them personally, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's hard to accept, like, you know, look at Tom Cruise and Mel Gibson, you know, how they get this rap for being batshit crazy. But I do believe that they're great actors. Like, I think when it comes to actors, I mean, stop focusing on their personal lives. I mean, the important thing is, is whether or not they're good at acting. But I would say my favorite is probably tied between, like, two or three people. Like, Sean Connery, um... James Dean and John Wayne. What is your favorite color? Um, hard to say. I mean, I love blue, I love red, I love orange, and I love green. Loud music or soft music? Oh, I used to love as loud as it could possibly be, but now that I'm like half deaf, you know, I gotta try and take it easy with that. Where do you go when you're sad? Um, when I'm sad, I just like to go for a walk, listen to music, you know, just something to ease my mind, you know? How long does it take you to take a shower? Um, if it's just a regular shower, probably just like 10, 15 minutes. But if it's been like a long day and I just kind of need to wind down and relax, it could take longer than that. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, you know, it depends. Usually I like to give myself a good hour or at least a half hour to get ready for something. So, yeah, I, I would say probably, well, yeah, that's probably a good ballpark right there is about half hour to an hour. Ever been in a physical fight? Uh, <laughs> shit. I think even you could answer that question. I would say far too many. You know, especially when I was younger. Because, I mean, for one, I was always, like, one of the smaller kids, so I always had to prove myself more. Plus, I mean, growing up in South St. Paul, you, you don't survive if you don't know how to fight. Oh, shit. This bitch is right in my face. Get off of me! Um, Goddamn pepper. Question is turn on. Turn on? Oh, what is your turn on? <laughs> oh, um... It just says turn on. It, it really depends. I mean... Depends on your personality, really. And, you know, in the moment, if you're going to be more sensual about it rather than just, like, going straight for the kill, you know. Because I, I prefer to just kind of be more sensual rather than just, hey, let's fucking do this. Okay, but what turns you on? I, I don't... You know, it's ironic where, like, you know, you would think that a person would know these things about themselves, but for me, it's not that easy to decipher. What turns you off? Um, ignorance, uh, just, I don't know, being highly judgmental or generalizing where, like, you blame just, like, a general group of people for, you know, problems around the world when, honestly, I believe it's, it's a mixture of things, you know, it's not just one or two things. What is the reason you joined YouTube? Well, you know, ever since I was young, I just wanted to do something to help entertain others. You know, rock star, pro wrestler, 
um, actor. You know, I've always thought about like, you know, it'd be so much fun to just be able to do that, just to be able to let loose, be creative, and you know, all that stuff. So it's like with this, I can kind of blend all those things together. I can create a character, be entertaining or offensive, however you want to look at it. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. You know, that's what drew me to this is because you know. I seen all these other people doing it and I figured why not you know why not give it a try what are your fears um giant spiders yeah, right. I'm not talking about just like wolf spiders I've handled a few of those in my time but I mean like mutant sized like eight-legged freak style who the hell's shooting me last thing that made you cry um you know, it's really hard to say I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm a man, I don't cry. We all have our breakdown moments, it happens. But, I mean, there's been a lot of things in the past few years that, you know, have either upset me or, you know, just kind of gotten to that point. I mean, it's not like every little thing that happens, but I've also learned to accept things when they happen. So, I honestly couldn't tell you. I mean, I could probably tell you the worst time that I cried was when my grandfather passed away when I was like 14. Last time you loved someone? Every day. Never stop loving, man. That's the point of, you know, accepting God and Jesus into your heart. You never stop loving people. Even if they're different than you. Even if they don't like you. You know, it's, you just accept. What is the meaning behind your YouTube name? Um, I know I answered this in a previous uh, Q&A, but there is some detail I didn't go into. Um, I'll start with the basics that everyone knows. You know, it started as, you know, a group with me and some friends on Grand Theft Auto. It started off as Rancid Hyena's um, mo motorcycle crew or something like that. But then, you know, it just it spanned into the YouTube name itself, which we just changed it to Rancid Hyena's Gaming. And, and um, one of the biggest inspirations for the name itself wasn't just, you know, our personalities and, you know, it just seemed to fit, but also it was a uh, song and artist of um, Hyena by Rancid. Okay. Bitch. It's the last book you read. Um, it was actually two simultaneously. Um, it was Hell's Angels by Hunter S. Thompson as well as Fear and, Lost Vo Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by um, Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, um, you know, get through a chapter of one, then do a chapter of the other, and just kind of alternate like that. Um, I love Hunter S. Thompson. I think he was a very brilliant uh, and underrated writer. The book you're currently reading? Um, I'm not reading any right now at this point. Okay. Um, what is the last show you watched? Um, Animaniacs on Netflix. Yeah, awesome. Who's the last person you talked to? Um... Yeah, well, I've been hanging out with you since the day started, so... Yeah, i was been talking to my brother all day. And the last relationship between you and the person you last... Oh, I'm sorry. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Um, shit. I can't remember if that was Nick or my friend Lexa through um, Facebook. But, I mean, both of them friends. Nick has been my best friend since I was, like, 14, so that's, like, over 12 years now. Um, Alexa and I have started becoming friends in the last year through Emmy. So, you know, so that's the relationships between the, uh, me and them. What is your favorite food? Um, pizza, because you can do pretty much anything I with pizza. That answer. Well, and you know, I also enjoy a good burger here and there. You know, burgers, um, garlic fries are really good too. Okay, I'm not sure if that'll kill I have to go save the world in 10 minutes, so I gotta get this done. Alright. Um, last place you were? Um, it's kind, of, it's kind of like a very ominous question because it's like, well, obviously I'm at home. You and I just ran around Salt St. Paul just doing whatever. Last night I was over at a restaurant, so I mean, I'm home now, so I guess that would technically be the last place. Do you have a crush? Yes! They didn't ask with who, so I think we can leave it at that. Last time you kissed someone? Um, 
just this morning, I kiss myself in the mirror every morning for good luck. <laughs> Last time you were insulted. Um, you? Like, just before we started this video? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, that's brotherly love. Otherwise, you know, I get insulted on the internet all the time, but I take that with a grain of salt. You know, there's trolls, there's haters, and then you got people that are just trying to give criticism. It is what it is. Most important question on this whole list. Favorite flavor of sweet? Oh, it's really hard to say because I mean, it really depends on what it is. There's so many, there's so much deliciousness and beauty in the world. Favorite candy? Um, probably Laffy Taffy. Okay. I mean, I used to love Reese's and shit when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, like chocolate has just gotten a little overbearing for me. Okay, what instruments do you play? Um, I was self-taught on guitar. Um, I actually played the baritone for a bit when I was in middle school, too. I play the butt trumpet. Yeah, I play that on, like, an hourly basis. I actually just hit a note three seconds ago. Was it the brown note? Yep. What is your favorite piece of jewelry? Um, probably this necklace I got at the State Fair about a year ago. It's a, um... It's really cool because the necklace itself is metal, um, silver and blue, and then it has like a um, a dial on it from a guitar. So, what's the last sport you played? Uh, shit. Uh, BMX, technically, just you know, freestyle out in the woods and shit. What's the last song you sang? The last song I sang, I think it was "You Believe in Life After Love." Yep. Favorite chat up line. Chat up line? Is that kind of like a pickup line? Uh, I'm just gonna assume that means pickup line and that this was written by a foreigner. Um, there's actually a few just because they're hilarious. One is, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I'll fuck the shit out of you. Second one is, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Because I got a boner. Last one, and this one's brutal, but it's, um, you're gonna get late tonight. I'm stronger than you are. <laughs> Have you ever used it? <laughs> <laughs> all those shits and giggles, yeah. I've used all of them. Last time you hung out with anyone? Well, hanging out with you today. So I guess that counts. I mean, because, you know, I love hanging out with my friends. But, you know, spending time with your sibling and stuff is good shit, too. And last question. Who should answer these questions? Um... Fuck, I can't really think of that off the top of my head. Oh shit, forgot about these dudes. But um, I'll end up tagging people um, in the description as well as on Twitter. I think, I think Ridiculous Nickerous should. Um, he doesn't even do YouTube. Well, he's going to start tomorrow. No, Nick, as much as Nick loves doing this stuff with me, he also almost doesn't kind of care for it. But you mean, I don't necessarily mean he doesn't care as in, you know, he's just a dick about it. Just, you know, he's he's got his own ambitions, his own lifestyle and shit. And I don't know if he would ever have the ambition to be a content creator. Although I think it'd be awesome if he did because Nick is hilarious. Yeah, he is. Unintentionally hilarious. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see him being great at this. Agreed. I mean, he's one of my favorite people to be on video with. That's all, folks! Alright, so... Shit. Oh, let me kill this guy real quick. Fuck! Come on. Just, just die for me. It's not that hard. Okay, so... I will homework bone myself. When you're at the movies, and you just ate a bunch of popcorn, and this happens... <laughs> so either way guys that's the end of the video we'll definitely pick up more on this uh next time i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys later